Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Jenny here from So Busy Drawing. I hope everybody's keeping well. So in today's video, I just thought I'd share with you the uh, completed boho purse um, and the second part of um, doing the lining and then doing the stitching on the outside. Um, and also um, my finished bag that I'd, um, I'd started making. So let's just start with the boho purse. So I got a bit carried away and the purse I was working on, I actually finished it. So this is it. So again, lots of various fabrics, uh, lots of stitching, um, textures, lovely rich colours. And then uh, what I did, I just had some yellow cotton and I used that for the lining. Um, I haven't put um, a closure on here yet because I was looking, but then I did find my, um, I've got a couple of these. Well, only one of them I need for this little purse. So yeah, I'm going to stitch one of them on, which are quite easy to stitch on. So that'll go on there. So that's, um, that's the boho purse. So um, because I got carried away and finished this one completely, <laughs> Um, I just thought I'd show with you on a little template how um, I did the lining and then how to sort of finish it all off. So this is template one. So you've got all your fabrics and they're all stitched on. So then what you do is that you get um, a piece of fab fabric that you'd like to go on the inside. And then you just trim it all up and then just stitch around the outside like a little whip stitch, I'll just show you here. So that's that one there, so like a little whip stitch to join the lining to the front part. So you go all the way around that with your little whip stitch or blanket stitch if you like. And then you fold up the two sides to get your two sides and then whip stitch again around there. I'll show you here, if you can see on the purple, um, I've doubled the thread as well to make it extra strong. So again, a little whip, a whip stitch around the outside. Again, if you can use blanket stitch if you want to, but um, I find whip stitch is much stronger. So that's all the way around there. And then that's the little purse made, little wallet made. And like I said, you can make these various sizes, um, yeah, various fabrics, various colours, uh, uh, your choice, whatever, whatever, however you like to make them. So that's the finished boho purse. And that's the second part of putting the lining in, stitching around the outside, folding it up, and then stitching these, these two parts together. And then that's the bit that comes down. That's your folded over bit. And then that will be your, your wallet, your purse, etc. See, that's a different shape there now, but yeah. So that's that. So I hope I hope that's helpful. Any questions, you know, just uh, put them in the uh, box below. So the next piece that I have finished, another finished piece, I'm pleased actually, is this bag that I made. So in the last video, um, I showed you um, how to do the lining in this. Again, I think it's all the same actually, the same way. I do the lining the same way, draw these little bags and purses. So um, in here, I've added a little pocket. If you can see that, it's quite heavy. So that's the pocket, which I've just like, you know, slips a little whip stitch around it just to sew it in. It's a little pocket in there. It's quite thick, this bag, it's really nice. Um, the handles I've um, stitched as well. So look, running stitch through them. Um, I wasn't sure about the lining on here because I was trying to find um, one of the other planar colours, but I haven't got any of that. And I didn't have enough of that fabric left, so I've just gone with this fabric here for the lining, which is absolutely fine. And then there's the handles as well that I've uh, stitched in. And then I think on one of them, I've stitched around there as well, but on one of them I'll put a little bit of glue in. I think, oh, I don't know, maybe just a tiny little bit of glue. There was this little bit of a gap, but then I went back round and then I just did a little stitch, which is absolutely fine. So it can be the whole lot, apart from that little bit of glue, is all hand stitched. So yeah, and that's lovely. That's really nice, thick bag, heavy bag. Um, so that's another little uh, 
another little project which is lovely and easy to make and it's so meditative like stitching along these doing these stitches i think <clears throat> before i think i had done stitches going along here as well but i just had to take them out because i've only done a couple of sections so i've just kept it all like in the just the one stitch going across and then a little bit of um the circles as well just a little uh stitch around the circles and i think on one of them i did a bit of blanket stitch oh yeah two of them have got blanket stitch as well that's in there maybe more close if you can see it a bit closer there we go so that's the bag so i'm really pleased how that turned out really pleased so yes yeah, so that's two finished projects so a little wallet for her wallet and a bag so pleased with that so what i thought i'd do is i'd show you um a string quilt that i've um i had I put, started making it a good few minutes ago and i've started uh, I pulled it back out and started working on it again so i'm going to move these and then i'll show you like i said if there's any questions on any of these little um for her inspired purses or anything about the bag then just drop them in the comments below let me know if you've been inspired to have a go at making them. I'll put these to the side and then I'll show you the uh, string quilt that um, I'm working on. So this, um, like I said, started a little while ago and this was inspired by Annie Claxton of Arty Farty Annie. So this is mine. So this is, I'm not sure if I can get it all in actually. Let me see if I can, no. If I can, I don't think I can get it all in. No, I can't. Right, so basically this is made up of 30 five by five inch squares. Um, so each square was cut out and then scraps, or sorry, strips of fabric, little scrap bits, um, I then hand stitched on with like a running stitch. So I did 30 of those. Now what I'm doing um, is I'm added the embellishment. So the little bits of extra stitches and sequins, etc, etc. But this was done on like little bits of um, cotton. Some cotton sheeting that I had. So each square was cut out then a strip of fabric laid over and then stitched onto it um i haven't got any um i didn't have any batten big enough so what i've done i've got this fabric and used that as a batting uh as another layer for now but i think what i'm going to do is get a, a uh, go and get a, a bigger piece of batting or a bit of fleece that i've got and then put that on the back so um yeah, so in Annie's video, uh, you go hop over to her YouTube channel and you'll find out, um, you can see how she made hers. I think hers, if I'm right in thinking, is like a fold out bag. So it actually all folds out. Um, I decided to make a wall hanging of mine. So I've set myself a bit more of a challenge. Um, again, um, just using uh, various stitches and embellishments. Um, that's what I'm doing now. So I'll just turn it around. Let me just actually let me see where I'm working. I'll put it this way actually. I think I've done quite a bit of work on this section here. I think I'm working down this side at the moment. I'm trying to said that I'll start working it down. Anyway, so I'm working on this sort of side at the moment, and this is uh, one complete section. Hope you can see that. Bring that right up like that. So this is a piece that sort of finished, his section's finished. Um, so on here, I've got um, bits of wool, sequins, bits of ribbon, um, some threads, which are slightly thicker. Got those on. And then I've gone in and I've done more stitching. So I've added like blanket stitch, a uh, fly stitch, uh, I've got a French knots, straight stitch, um, uh, and you know, and then um, 
creating different patterns with the straight stitch as well. Uh, um, trimmings. Uh, and then I've got bits of wool that I've couched. And then I've weaved some of the wool in, in and out as well out of the previous stitches. So yeah, so I'm going in now and just adding all the, my favourite part, adding all the embark. I mean, I love the sewing, but like adding a bit of sparkle is just brilliant. I love it. So yeah, so that's what I'm working on. Well, I've gone back into working on this. Um, so yeah, so this is going to be a, a, a wall hanging. Um, and then what I said, I'll get some batten and then I'll have to get it like, so for the edge, I'm not sure whether to, I mean, I won't be using this, but it'll sort of go like that. Around the edges, let me just show you that, not on camera. So I'll get some batting. Uh, another piece of fabric and then I'll have to come over a bit more with that one and then go around like that I think see how that turns out so yeah so that's the string quilt that I'm working on so like I say um, another scrap buster um, I was inspired by Annie Claxton so check out her YouTube channel and uh, she has uh, a video um, videos on how to create one of these and then she, like I said I think she has folds out it's like a carry bag, I think it is. So yeah, so um, you know, if you want to have a go at making one of them, then check out that her channel. Um, so yeah, so that's that. So I thought what I'll do is I'll show you just another piece. This is a slow stitch piece again, and this piece um, I made made a while ago and it's using scrap fabrics this is based on nature because i absolutely love nature's a lot of my inspiration for my work um a bit of stitch letters applique buttons beads more applique a little bit as you cut out from another piece of fabric ribbons various stitches um suffolk puffs little hexagon shapes that i cut out fly stitch Running stitch, seed stitch, loads on here, and then like added added little bits of lace, and um, lace and little embellishments again. But nature themed this one. Now the only thing I will say is that I did put a lining on this, but the only thing is I don't know if you can see that it's not sitting flat. So either what I've done now, I've pulled made the stitches a bit too tight, or maybe I should have just done a blanket stitch, but because that's not gonna so if you and if you hang it up it's not gonna hang flat so that's that one that's a nature inspired one um again another little great scrap buster uh let me show you one of the other couple of pieces that i've made uh sort of large pieces um so that's that one uh, i found this actually yesterday which i made Again, nature inspired uh, leaf on there. And it's all the greens and then just running stitch, uh, Mennonite stitch. Um, that's that piece there. Again, that's not lined. That's done in the curtain lining. That's what I do. So I make these little pieces and I'll just leave them and then go back later. But that'd be nice as a little wall hanging. Um, so that's that one there. Let me go and show you the um, other one that I've got. It's downstairs. We're back in a moment. Just downstairs, just hang on the wall. So this is another nature inspired piece, and then I've got it hanging on like some a bit of branch that I've picked up from my garden. So in here, again, it's just patches of various, fab various fabrics, 
um i found um i had some of these little she's she's i can't say it little mirrors that i stitched on and then these i picked up um from a shop a little packet of uh, leaves i've stitched on as well and then this here is hemp and i've couched it so the intention for this one is like falling leaves and that's there again look see i haven't covered the back of it just hung it straight up <laughs> and that's hanging on a bit of um a bit of wood that i've got out the garden like i said so that's that one there so a lot of nature a lot of nature themed work well very i find it really inspirational so that's those two pieces um let me show you the ones that i've got So this was a uh, a larger piece that I worked on, and this is all the blues. Again, using all um, just all shades of blue fabrics that I had, and then stitching across. And then this has got like a um, that's the lining at uh, the backing. Sorry, I think I've done this one. I think this feels pretty thick, so probably a bit of batting or, batting or fleece in there or something. Probably a bit of fleece. Feels nice anyway, nice and thick. So, yeah. So, that's that one. And this is a slightly bigger piece, which is all done in blues. What's that one there? <clears throat> which is lovely. Uh, and then I had a go at doing a uh, Gawandi. Oh, this is my version. Didn't quite turn out Gawandi style, but I had a go. And that's that one there. And on here, again, uh, Getting a bit, I think what I think what I do is I get a bit carried away, and I get so excited with my, my like you know the next project that when I'm cutting the fabrics, um again I cut short or not or not give myself enough fabric because obviously when you start sewing it tends to shrink in. See on here, can you see there? It actually has um I've have I've actually made it. I haven't actually cut it enough of it. So there's a little gap in there. But I think put a bit of glue on that, that should be just stick it down. But that's my little <laughs> that's my little thing I have. <laughs> not putting the fabrics big enough. And not, you know, forgetting that it does tend to come in as you stitch. So that was my go. And then I put on the little bits on the end as well. But it's not um the intention was Kawandi, but it didn't it didn't quite turn out like that. So um but anyway, I'm happy with how it how it did turn out in the end. But again, there's loads of videos on how to do Kwandi um Kwandi stitching. Um and I think Marion on oh, Marion's one, she she did a, a lovely one. And um there's loads of them. There's loads of them if you want to have a go at doing making one of them. So I think for me it was just finding something like um because obviously you've got the smaller projects, but something that I could do, you know, I could just sit and stitch and um not worry about like how the final piece was going to be or um you know just spend that time stitching and enjoying the moment of being in the present moment on the bigger pieces so i might try and make a larger piece but i'll see how we go because obviously i've got my string fork to do um and then other pieces as well um what have i got here oh yeah and then i found this piece that one away. Then I found this piece I did, which is not finished either. Again, scrap fabrics, buttons, embellishments. You can sort of see I've got a style <laughs> like the bright colours. I love working with bright colours. And then going in and adding the embellishments. And that, and I think this was going to be, this was going to be like a journal, but I think it's a bit big, really. So I might take all this out, take all this out, 
just do it plain on the back and maybe have that as a wall hanging. This is the thing is what I was thinking, so I've got so many little pieces and I was thinking I just need to move them on. I just need to move them on. Because it's a little because it just needs like like yesterday. Um I thought, right, I'm gonna tidy up my art room. So I did all that and then I've just got like things that I've made that I've had for ages. Um so I think I might find maybe um a charity that would be you know, donate to a charity. Um so I think I might do that with them. But I think this is it if you're a a crafter, creator, maker, uh, making all these wonderful things and obviously sharing your gifts and talents with others and then knowing what to do with the pieces at the end, unless you go on to sell them, which I have sold some pieces of work, but I, mean, I don't think sit here and go, oh, I'll make a piece of work and I'll sell it. I just absolutely love creating and then seeing what comes, you know, just enjoying the whole process of making and creating and seeing what I can do and then pushing myself a bit further of what I can make and have a go at making. So, um, yeah, so there we go. Anyway, that's another stitch piece. So as you can see, I've done loads, loads of stitching. <laughs> loads of pieces. There we go. So that's two completed larger pieces that I've done. Oh no, three, that's that one there. So larger pieces that I've done. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd just share with you then. So finishing off the boho purse, um, just showing you some of my larger pieces and then what I'm working on next. Um, I'll probably do something in between, no doubt. Um, looking in my box of um, projects that do need finishing. Um, I've got things in there that I need to complete. So yeah, so there's lots, lots for me to be getting on with and doing and yeah, sharing, sharing with you the things I make and create. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions or comments, please leave them in the box below. Um, these so yeah so yeah any questions or comments about any of this these oh, these two these the bag and the boho purse um yeah just uh, leave them below if you like what i'm doing and like watching my videos please subscribe uh thank you again for all your comments and shares and likes really appreciate it and i will see you in the next video bye for now take care